about to drive the fastest production car on a quarter mile. Good job. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it's so unassuming, this car, isn't it? You look at it and you think, nah, that wouldn't have over 800 horsepower. Yeah, it does. Oh, look at the back seat. There's no back seats. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, who needs them, really? Brand, brand new, guys. Like, it smells so new. Straight from the factory. 244 miles on the clock. Holy bejesus. We've got nearly full fuel, but the range is only 140 miles. So this must sink gas like nothing else. Yeah, the way you drive it for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So that's the key. Now look at this. Mm. It's got this panic button on it. I think it's for when you like go insanely fast. And you're just like, shit, I'm going too fast. I hit the panic button and then, you know, it probably stops or something. Yeah, no. No? <laughs> I think. The National Hot Rod Association has actually banned this car from any of its member tracks because it's simply too fast. So this can do a quarter mile, what, like 9.6 yeah. seconds around there? And then, like, if you compare that to, like, the latest Ferraris and McLarens, it's like around 9.8 ish so i'm just looking here the power looks like we've got about 800 horsepower at the moment i think you can limit it to 500. that's cool and then look we there's like a little demon face here high octane feature not equipped please contact your local dodge dealer when you get up to 500 miles that's when you can take it into the dealer um, and activate the demon mode well, which unlocks it's like full horsepower. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, uh, to 840. Or do you know what I heard? That at that point you need to use special race fuel. We gotta, we gotta confirm that. But that's crazy. That's crazy. So we are driving up into the Hollywood Hills. I think you call this right. This is Sunset Boulevard. I might have that completely wrong, but I'm just gonna roll with it. We are heading to the house of uh, a guy called Jordan and he owns a new Ford GT and I've never seen one before. There's one rolling around in Dubai that comes out occasionally, but I just haven't seen it yet. So this is the first time that I'm gonna see the new Ford GT um, and we're gonna go for a drive together. So the Demon versus the GT. Do you know where the parking is? Parking right brake? Right here. Oh, parking brake? No. Is it this one? It says push on yeah, off. Yeah, try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah! Oh, that's turbo. Ooh. The color is insane. Yeah, wow. wow. Right, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing one. Yeah, yeah. I, I have not seen another one out in the wild either. <laughs> I'm the only one. So tell us a story then. GT, why do you want one and why'd they give you one too? Um, I mean, I always, I love the design of the 2005, 2006. Yeah. And I just happened to be a little bit too young to be able to get one. I was 13 years old at the time. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, so that made it a little tough. I mentioned that in the video application part right. uh, of getting one of these. And I think that's what sort of excused me from owning the previous one. Okay. Otherwise, I didn't expect to get one. I always say that. I was expecting to get the email and be like, you know, we appreciate your interest. Better luck next time. Yeah. And I would, I would have been totally fine with yep. that. But, uh, no. How did you surprise. get a notification? How does that work? An email. Yeah, I mean, you submitted a, a whole application. It was about, what was it, like five months later? That right. I got the email. Yeah. And it just says, congratulations, you've been... Pretty much. Are you actually selected or you go onto a short list then? No, no, that, was, was, that, that was, was the final, final thing. Selection. Yeah, I remember exactly where I was. It's like <laughs> everyone has some <laughs> notable moment in yeah, life yeah. where they remember exactly where they were. Wow. That where were you? I was yeah. eating sushi. Eating sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, so I made the sushi meal even yeah. better. Wow, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, okay. 
Cool. Wow, that car is insanely right. beautiful. <laughs> I am blown away. Now go! Look at the back here. It looks like the nose of a dragon. Do you see that? Like with the two big nostrils, the exhaust pipes. Do you see that? Does anyone else see that? <laughs> Absolutely no boot anyway, huh? There's a little bit, but that would not fit in there. I've already tested this it. This wouldn't even fit. I don't think so. A backpack. Because half of it, fit. half of it's occupied by the uh, the toolkit that's yeah. good to have in there at all times. Right. Um, have you ever needed to use it? I've not, fortunately. Everything's pretty much on the wheel, hey? Yeah, they try to put everything so you don't have to take your hands off. Um, so other than toggling with the suspension lifter and doing the comfort setting mode uh, for the suspension if you're uh, in a rough area, then it's pretty much all on the wheel. Driving right next to us, that car's driving. This is a real beast, especially here on a straight line. Wow. Are you making the GT jealous over here, mate? <laughs> oh, there you go. That was a nice wine right there. Stopped for... Um, a little photo opportunity. Look at this. This here. That's like a little catchment area for rocks and debris and stuff from the road. You can get that fitted in uh, after you've actually purchased the car. When you close the door. Right. See it all line up. So yeah, it'll just fly it'll straight fly into fly right into here. Yep. And just on the press demo models, after like 4,000 miles on the track, uh, I was told that they just have like bare exposed carbon because all the paint's come Wee. off. Okay, start her up. It, is. it looks like any other Ford key, it yeah. just says GT on it. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I got an Explorer Loner the other week, and I was like, this is basically the GT key. Wow. It just doesn't say GT. No way. <laughs> All right, so you've just got to hold the key, and then it's literally start and stop. Yeah, yeah. foot on the brake. Wow, okay. There it and is. Just push it. There you go. It's on. If you turn off the engine, it disengages all the hydraulics, yeah. That's my first experience with right. the new Ford GT. You'll have to come out again when oh, it's man. not raining. Well, thank you so, so much. It's of been course. an absolute pleasure. Nice Definitely. to meet you and congratulations on your